We are extremely fortunate that we get to travel and hunt all over the world every season. And there are a few places that we look forward to going back year after year. Texas is one of those places that once you go, you can't wait to get back. And on this trip, we are punching a pile of tags. just got in about an hour ago. They came and dropped us off. Try to at least get maybe a two hour on in, just kind of see everything. And we've been here 15 minutes and we already got, we've already seen about nine doe and one small little buck. So this is gonna, this could turn out to be a real exciting hunt. So definitely looking forward to it. It means y'all gonna be fighting over who shoots first. <laughs> The all new and improved multifunctional Cirrus wind indicator with built in LED technology, USB power bank charger, and over 1,000 puffs per cartridge don't just play the wind, know the wind.
morning, South Texas. Been watching a really nice nine or 10 point all morning with a bunch of does. Rated that five and a half year mark, so he's not, uh, he's not shooting, but I'm gonna send it out. Maybe a halogenus, maybe a hog, something's gonna show up, so maybe a giant buck. cold for South Texas. And we just shot a hell me now. <laughs> nice job. That's good shooting, bud. When you talk about hunting South Texas, that is one of the animals that comes to mind every time are these big, giant South Texas javelinas. That is why. Look at that. Look at the chomper. That is unreal. They're a lot of fun to hunt, man. We've shot a pile of them down here over the years, and that never gets old, ever. Uh -uh. That is a cool animal. So we're doing some dome management here for Mike Jones down here in South Texas, so. All right guys, we came out this morning looking for either coal bucks or doing some doe management. So we tried to take some of the older does out because they have an abundance of does here in South Texas on Mike Jones Ranch. And this is the final result this morning. So uh, made a decision to take this, this old doe. She's gonna make some good back straps, I can tell you that, some jerky. The insulated bow mitt from Better the Hunt kills from 40 to negative 40. You can check out the bow mitt at betterthehunt.com. This mitt is the perfect fit. So it's our first afternoon in South Texas hunting with our great friend Mike Jones. Mike, what do we got going here? Well, we've got a new 3,000-acre uh, pasture that we just added to our lease this year, and we're, um, 
hoping to get you guys to help us uh, take out some of the coals and some of the manual bugs and maybe a few does. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll get a big one. So that's what we're, we're hoping to accomplish this, this week. is what Mike calls a Kullbach. <laughs> He's out of his mind. That's an awesome deer. That's a nice deer. It's actually doing a pretty good mass. Just did that very long time. Oh, look at this. Look at this! Look at this book! <laughs> uh. <sighs> Mike! This is incredible! He's bigger than I thought! <laughs> like, that is a really good buck! <laughs> that is a really good buck! Wow! That is a South Texas 10 point buck. <sighs> it's our first full day here hunting with the famous Mike Jones, one of our unbelievably good friends. He invited us down and there's no way that we can pass this hunt up. South Texas in January, this buck came out. Mike says, oh, that's a shooter. <laughs> and we watched him for a long time. He come out and then he went back in and then uh, he made the mistake of coming back out. We were actually watching a coyote, a bunch of javelina. And uh, he came back out and come all the way down the Sendero. Gave me about a 150 yard shot. And that is it, that is a gorgeous animal. Oh, I'm so happy, man. Thank you so much, Mike. Absolutely, good job, oh, great shot. Yes.
These are really, really cool. Such a unique opportunity. We can't really hunt these <clears throat> back home. They are native to the very, very far south. We are here in South Texas, so just a cool animal. Look at those chompers. South Texas, and we can't do any of this without this guy here. <laughs> good job, good job. This is Mike Jones, he manages this place, and he manages it to a T. Every year we come down here, he spoils the ever living heck out of us. And these are the results. It was probably only about three weeks ago I uh, made a call to my buddy Mike Jones and just uh, shooting the breeze with him and asked us when we're coming down. I told him all you gotta do is, is say when and we'll be there. So he said when and we are here. He said there's a big, big mature eight point uh, that keeps showing face around this one blind. So uh, I kind of put dibs on him and uh, have been sitting in the same blind every day. It's day four, and we've been putting our time in just waiting for this deer to come in. And, uh, this morning he showed up, and there he is. Wasn't sure it was him right away. Called Mike Jones and uh, made sure that it, uh, it was a deer that I could shoot. Got the green light, and, uh, and there he is. The big eight is down. We are in Hebronville, Texas. <laughs> and that is a man of a deer right there. Big, big Texas eight point. Look at how thick he is, how big he is. How old do you think he is? Six and a half. Six and a half year old Texas buck right there. Look up when you look at old. Yeah. So they manage this place proper. As you can see, deer like this don't just show up. Deer like this grow up. And, uh, what a beautiful buck. I am so lucky, so fortunate. Thank you guys, Chad. Bo, Mike, appreciate you guys being down here. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs>